All right, here goes our test. Yes. Hey everybody, this is Dave. I've gotten to be involved in some really amazing things over my life. And uh, I know somebody really interesting by the name of Ted Teach. And he's just completed a 10 year restoration project on Orion ST. It's the only one on the planet. And they test flew it this morning around seven o'clock supposedly. And uh, I've been invited around mid morning to come over and check it out. This is an amazingly beautiful airplane. It should compete very well at Oshkosh this year. They weren't able to quite make Oshkosh last year. So I'm looking forward to checking it out. I've only seen pictures of it and I've seen parts and things like that. Um, but we're gonna go check it out this morning. they were going to fly it at about 7 this morning and uh, they wanted some privacy for that but it would be yeah. okay to come around mid-morning so okay. and I checked it before I, he uh, left 9 o'clock. The, bar, the barn guy came so I'm Oh okay. I figured you had some reason. He's boring to come here. Yep. week next Saturday the wedding day Ross wants to go to cars and coffee oh yeah with his buddy so on the wedding day yeah it's <laughs> in the morning no one's doing anything wow something happens and he's late yeah. we'll all go we'll all go <laughs> so if I get all the cars on we'll take both the yachts and the Porsche oh yeah I've never seen the next one there there yeah I've seen a couple of bars guys show up with us so. yeah so you'll have a uh, <laughs> my own collection. Your own collection. Your own. <laughs> your own. Uh, we're gonna have to clone off an area for the boy collection. <laughs> McLarens and all this stuff. Uh huh. Until he enjoys the heck out of it. He's having yeah. a good time. But his editing, you can tell his videos have gotten so much better. Uh -huh. so cut a little thing of him in the mirror going. Both ways. Darting across the runway. Is it a Kennedy? Beautiful toolbox. He said the intercom crashed out within a 
is an airplane restoration hanger. And the Ryan's out flying right now. Right at about the level of the power line to the right of the telephone pole over the house. It's a quiet engine. Yeah, I think that's it. It's low wing and it's, it's shiny. It sounds like it's behind It's bright. Oh, no, there. That's the sound I'm hearing. Yeah. It doesn't sound like that. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I lied a lot. I don't know about the airspeed, but it doesn't move like I thought it did. I was more aware of what was going on with the instrument. Yeah, 
Yeah. This is the only one. This one wiggles a lot. The biggest challenge of the flight. Yeah, getting, getting, in, getting, getting out of the car. That one wiggles a lot. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what. It feels tight. Uh, I'll tell you what, Ted. Stay in Actually, there. We'll feed you a cool drink. And <laughs> just, just keep bringing it to you. <laughs> yeah, we'll bring it. It'll be okay. Yeah. Um, and there was some oil. Yeah, this is... Of course, all your hair blew up. Oh, when you take the ash pass, you get a vertical lift. You just kind of grab it and go off. Oh. <laughs> Hi there, fine. Okay, come here. Let's turn everything I know. Okay. When we land, I look at it and I go, eh, it doesn't look bad. Wait a little while and there'll be a oh, yeah. puddle about like that. Okay, yeah. I didn't know if that was a characteristic. I think of... I need to pull all the rocker box heads off, the covers. And okay, you know, that just, I'm just pointing out everything I can up. think of. The intercom, there's, now. There's new gaskets, but they're years old. Ah, <laughs> that's like the Air Force Museum. We covered a, what airplane was it? But they, they went out and bought cotton. Yeah, but it was oh, a nice sir. Do you know what kind of plan I'm talking about? Is there oh, thank you. I think thank that you. One of them, well, no, one of them, but they start coming apart because they already hung oh. up. Ask Leroy, you know he goes down. Yeah. Yeah. Brand new, old, you know. Someday you'll get to see it yeah. fly. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, that'd be nice, huh? We need to get Ted another headset. Yeah, I don't nice. know. So, Neocom works fine until we, till we get that set up. Well, I don't know. Climber. What's happening? He goes full power. Are we talking on the ground? Great, no problem. It's full power. I start hearing the noise build up, and all of a sudden it goes dead. When we land, it slows down, works. So I'm just so don't worry, don't change anything on the intercom. If there's something in the swamps that you made it safely off. Maybe. Like a B-25. It didn't. Switch is off. Oil's off. Okay. Oh yeah. Loose the dub any? Yeah, yeah. Good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Well, the temperature runs between 350 and 400. 350 on the cruise and 400 on you pushing it. Uh huh. How's your oil temp? Yeah, that's good. Oh. So oil. What's that cloud? I don't know. Oil temperature. Them. Yeah, the same, same with this. He made the two halves and didn't put any holes in it, and then we made it all together and uh -huh. got it to fit and then cleaned it up and polished it. We made these. See up here in the tail clams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the fairings on the tail we, we made here. <clears throat> and these, we made these. So are the original ones here. just too corroded? All the, yeah, flying wire covers on the wings. We're just beat up to pieces. Yep. Ready for Oshkosh. You can definitely tell that this the airflow comes in here, and there's a box to force that air through the cylinders. Uh huh. So any oil is coming out this side. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why it's all yeah, down. Yeah, pressurizing it from this yeah, side. Yeah, we're pressurizing the, the plenum here. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, yeah. Feel that. You feel it. Was a lot tighter before. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't hardly move it before. Remember? Yeah, that yeah. first until you broke it loose. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Hey, Dad. Are you going to Oshkosh? Bye bye. Yeah. 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 You have to go around back to get in? Nope. Oh, we have a
electronics. What did you say this is? A Balanca? Balanca Super Viking. It's 300 horse. Big continent. Mile an hour. With wooden wing. Wood wings, steel tube, fuselage, fabric. What's cover. the spar in it? Wood. Is it? Cool. Yeah. Hey, look at the new walls. It's wood. Yeah. <laughs> and it's fabric covered airplane. See up in the wheel wells later when I look at the video. Oh, oh yeah, it's fabric. Yep. Very clean wing. Fantastic. You ever flown one of these? Man, it's got a lot of vertical stab. Predecessor to it. Yeah. Who's master, I think it was. Mm. Same structure and basically same wing, they just cleaned it up and mm -hmm. you used to have the three tails, the constellation tails, and yeah. you went with that. Yeah, slicker airplane. Yeah, it's filled up with engine, that's for sure. Well, so this is where he's at on the annual. Yeah, going through it. Whatever they're probably doing retract test and everything else. It's up on jacks. They're probably getting ready to do that. Swinging his gear and everything. Like that. So, when an airplane's an expensive thing to keep operation. They are. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt, they are. So, is there a standard hard point that's in the aircraft? That these jacks all interact with? Yeah. Just a, a bolt head? This is a cup? Yeah, pretty much a yeah, a point or a bolt head. Okay. And that goes into the steel structure there. So there it is. And Mooney had them out in the wings. These are mm -hmm. like on a spar or whatever. Jack point. They all have jack points. Yeah, you can see the big bolts holding on the top and bottom spar. Of the spar, see the big metal tabs. Oh yeah. There you go. Let's hold the wing on. Right there. Right there. Oh, there you can see the wood right there. There's a spar. These are bolted into it. See it? Yeah. Can. <laughs> yeah, the wooden spar. And so that plate goes back and has a series of bolts that connects to a probably yep. out in here yeah. a couple of feet yeah, they or a foot tie and a half. In and those are your attached points. Those are some pretty important bolts. <clears throat> yes, they are. Particularly these ones on the fuselage. <laughs> that's, that's what's holding the wings on. While we were looking in Doug's hangar, the door went ajar. Doug's up there working on it and I'm playing tool boy. So the first thing that happened is the cable came off the spool up there. And then from the outside, it looked like the door was going to collapse, but he assures me that it won't because it's on cables that hold it up every so far, so it can't collapse. But it sure did distort in an ugly way. So we had to remove that bracket so he could get the, the wheel and its stem installed back in there. And we got one more to do after this one. 
We just scrounged around in here to find tools. Somebody else is using the hanger. We do an annual on the balanca. That's about how much stud reveal there was on that before. Did you leave that board up there? Yeah. Oh, I see. You can reach it. And uh, meanwhile, I'll look around for a more effective hammer. Here goes our test. Yes. Whoa. Okay. I, th those two uh, rollers came out down there. Yeah. And they came out right on the end of the bend. Okay. Close. I don't know if go back in. Uh... I don't think they will. So that's the problem. There's a way for them to get out of the... Uh, yeah, these things are bent all up. That's why. See how bent they are? Yeah, and it's, it's able to somehow drive out of that track. But I got this one still in. Yeah, see, because there's no load on them at all. And so yeah. It's all bent, and they just ride right out of it. That's the problem, because those got all bent up. So I need to fix all that crap to get them mm -hmm. in place. Oh, oh, and look, look, the top of that the left hand weld is pushed up yeah so that might be where it actually came out because it would have clearance to raise up and get out of the gully now this one this one stayed in so basically the two metal ones need some metal work and that one looks like it might still be in town i saw it out for sure yeah but it may go right here go back in i know how we can tell oh yeah Okay, so we should be able to see that there. Let's back up the video. All right, we decided that with the airplane in place, we can't be operating a dolly and a hammer on the track to straighten out what needs to be straightened out, but it's working a lot better. The cable's on, so it's as good as it's going to get for today. Oh, okay. My milling machine. Yeah. The deal that I got. 